Okay, we're talking about uh, the way our eye moves through a painting. There's two main pathways. Points of contrast, points of contrast, there's contrast along here, and then there's what we might call the, uh, the story, or what I call the words to the song. The points of contrast is uh, like the music to the song, and the story is the words to the song. Or points of contrast is kind of like tone of voice, and uh, what the, the subject is about is the left brain kind of uh, content of your sentence as you're talking. So points of contrast are here, there's some contrast here and here, but the story is here. So it's all designed to help move the eye around the whole painting. This is another painting of mine, and uh, you can see that uh, points of contrast are here. There's points of contrast here and here, and of course contrast in here. The story itself is essentially uh, right here. So it's my job to try to get the viewer to want to leave this. If they only want to look at this, we're in big, big trouble. So I'm going to create contrast up here, contrast here, contrast here, contrast down here to help the viewer leave the point of contrast and take us all the way out to the end of the painting. <clears throat> In this painting here, this watercolor points of contrast, the greatest point of contrast is here, but the center of our story, or what I'm calling the words to the song, or the music is, uh, you know, the abstract part. Actually, here is the what you might call the music, where you turn off what it is, and then you look at it right side up, and you can see, oh, it's a boat. It's a Venice boat. So the, the left brain goes here. The right brain's going to go here. They are positioned on opposite ends to help get the eye to rotate and move through the whole painting. The same thing is done with this painting. Points of contrast are here, plus the story is here. This is a lot of story, but we have to get the viewer to leave this and go to the opposite side of the corner, which is here. So, you know, so, and eventually you, you uh, create a pathway. Uh, again, uh, moving the viewer out of the painting. And in this portrait, uh, points of contrast are up here. There's contrast here. But the story itself is essentially here. But we have to get the viewer away from the obvious, powerful, emotional part of the picture, or what I call the left brain, what is it part of the picture, into just the right brain doesn't know what this is. The right brain is, uh, moves to color shapes, patterns, textures. So the right brain's going to go here. The left brain's going to have a tendency to go here. In this painting here, uh, points of contrast and story are here, so we have to lead the viewer away from this. Transition from dark to light. Dark to light creates movement and it makes the eye want to move. This little activity over here helps lead the eye up and away from, uh, otherwise we just stay right here. In this painting here, uh, we need this shape here very much. It's colorful, it's got a little contrast, but we have to help the viewer leave this obvious point center of interest and lead the viewer away so we don't just look at her face. <clears throat> In this painting here, uh, obviously the road goes through here. The left brain says, oh, it's a road, goes through the country. But the uh, if you look at the abstract, uh, we're going to go up here a lot. The left brain wants to go here a lot because there's contrast, there's dramatic movement. But if you look at it this way, uh, the story and the fence is down here. So I'm setting up opposites here. So the, the, left, uh, the right brain point of interest wants to go here. The left brain, the story, you want to go here. And you're intentionally putting them in opposite sides of the painting. <clears throat> this is nearly an abstract, but it is Venice. You get a little bit closer here. Uh, but our, uh, you know, our points of contrast are obviously here and here and here. So these are positioned to help lead the eye around the painting. And here with this particular scene, we have strong point of contrast. This is the opposite side of the, well, the where the boat is. So we're trying to get the eye to move, of course, as well, going up the tree trunk and the contrast here. So this is all positioned to help the viewer rotate around. And when we do a portrait, uh, her face, we want to, the, the left brain wants to go here a lot and get into uh, 
who she is, and the the uh, the right brain doesn't even know that's a face. The right brain will not start here. The right brain will probably start up here. It might start over here. It's going to go here a lot. So we're setting up points of contrast to pull us away from the obvious point of interest.